On the last one, we fought a dragon and ended the episode in Spirit Caller Cave, which is where we are now. And I see some things to pick up and more things to pick up. And we will go down this way because I saw a pathway over here. I'm just going to go ahead and admit right here. Yeah, there's a there's a spot right there that's going to drop. <laughs> I can see it. I don't want to fall into it because I might end up missing something if I go that way. Might not. Um, yuck. Just out of curiosity, can we target you and then get rid of you from distance? Because these guys are going to be the problem. I can just tell you right now, they're the whole point of this cave. You get rid of them and everything else dies. We know that because the game taught us that quite some time ago. It's just a matter of remembering because the game has taught us so, so many things that uh, honestly, I keep forgetting a lot of them. Went ahead and upgraded, ooh, five arteria leaves, nice. The Nagakiba, while we were away, it is now a plus 21. So you can see it actually does pretty decent damage, 220 plus 276. So it's not as good as Bloodhound's Fang, because obviously it's not as upgraded for one. And for two, it's a faster weapon anyway, so it's not going to hit as hard as Bloodhound's Fang. And for three, Bloodhound's Fang is just a stupidly good semi-broken weapon. So there's that. Golden Rune 10, excellent. Hero's Rune 1. And a Rune Arc, also excellent, because we used a few of those on the last one. Oh, man. Okay, just making sure we haven't missed anything. I must have blown through almost all of our runes to upgrade the sword. I didn't pay attention to what we came in here with, but we don't have many runes right now, so that's fine. I mean, we're going to get some. It's not that big a deal. But still, it's just kind of like, well, we have only like 1,900 runes. What happened? Hi, buddy. I see you. I also see your friend down there who is the actual problem. Oh, wow. That dude is just... Okay. Straight up attacking everything. Hi. I don't know why you're attacking everything, but if you're going to let me get free jump attacks on you, I'm going to take them. Okay. Now, we need to do something here because... Ah, oh, crap. Can I get a shot on this guy at all? What if I do this? Will that hit you? Oh, great. Good, good stuff. Because we got to get rid of this guy because he's going to end up calling that dude again. Assuming he hasn't already. Oh, man. Oh, hi. How you doing? Um, nope, that didn't work. Okay. Okay. Whew, buddy. This, I think, maybe is going to take us up to the spot where we would have fallen down if we had. Yeah, look at that. There's definitely a ledge and stuff right there. At least I think that's the case. Maybe not. Maybe we should go back to the beginning and fall through just for the giggles. Kind of don't want to, though. Kind of okay with not. I don't know. Sometimes I just uh, want to do things my own way and not worry too much about it. And even though I'm trying to do a spoiler-free playthrough, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Spoiling that one just a little bit by deciding not to to go do the thing. I see dogs. Question is, where is the snail? Looks like it's all the way back here in the corner. I see something. Yep, here it is. Okay, that's going to get rid of those ones. But I do see another one. And there's that invader again. Okay. Let's get rid of that guy. And then I think that's going to get rid of our invader Zim again. Excellent. Yeah, this place is super simple if you remember how it works. If you don't, well, you're in for a world of just pain. Ooh, white reed armor, white reed gauntlets, and white reed greaves. I wonder if that's from the invader guy. We have found multiples of this armor, I thought, like... Didn't we find some somewhere else? Like we bought some? Yeah, Land of Reed's armor. There it is right there. 
We bought that one. I'm pretty sure we bought that one anyway. Grimy Outer Mantle is made from withered reeds from the warrior's birthplace. And then we got this one. Worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled the Inaba, not the Inaba. The Inaba traveled in pursuit of not only the master who abandoned them, but also proper deaths, won honorably through hard-fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba, who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how this compares to what we're using now, but it doesn't have any bonuses as far as I can tell. It does have one more poise. That's interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know. I I like the armor. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it definitely has that, that sort of samurai uh, scale, whatever armor flair. It's cool looking, but um, I'm good with what we're using for the moment. I mean, we don't we don't need to have everything be, you know, everything is uh, land of reed stuff. Like, it's not really what I'm here for. I'm I'm actually really good with what we're doing so far. This is a lot of fun as is, and I'm good with switching around uh, here and there on our. All right, let's get Oga in on our weapon that we're using. I'm actually really kind of enjoying that we have a bunch of different weapons that we're using. Godskin Apostle. I wonder if a spirit Godskin Apostle can be slept. Yes, a spirit Godskin Apostle can be slept. Did you see that? That's hilarious. Come on. And then uh, we'll just go stabby stab on this guy. And he might be ready to go sleepy time again. Look at that. I think it's nappy nap time for this guy. Except that Oga's all, all just like beating the crap out of him, not letting him get a chance to sleep. Okay, that gets rid of that guy. That was super duper simple. Godskin Apostle has been slain. Godskin Noble, how you doing? Okay, let me get out of the fire. Because that was just my my dumb right there. I was standing in the fire. I was actually trying to to outsleep him. And it wasn't happening. Here, let's go around this side. I'm trying to watch him to see when he's ready to go take a nap. And it doesn't look like it's just yet. Now it is. Okay, you go ahead and do your thing, because you're going to take a nap. And while you're sitting on your good old rumpus, here, let's give you one of these guys. There we go. We got it. two power attacks in. Oh, okay. I just thought I would try. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but, you know... Oh, he's going to take this time for sleep again. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to burn. Yeah, I should have just been patient and let him sleep. Instead, I have screwed this up because he's really not that big a deal if you abuse the crap out of sleep with him. Like, really not. Ow. Okay. Thanks for that. Next one. Godskin Noble has been slain. Spirit Caller Snail. How you doing? You are now asleep. That's hilarious. Little spirits can fall asleep. Who knew? I would have never guessed that. That's very funny to me. Godskin Swaddling Cloth and Black Flame Ritual. Black Flame Ritual, I think, is the one that guy was just using on us. The, the big dude was, where he was creating a big old circle of flame around him. Superior Black Flame Incantation of the Godskin Apostles summons a circle of Black Flame pillars around the caster. Charging increases the size of the circle. Interesting. 
The glum-eyed queen led the apostles that is said that she was an Empyrean chosen by the fingers. And we got the godskin swaddling cloth. Is that going to be... Maybe that's a talisman. I think that might be a talisman here. Let's take a look at that and see if it's in here somewhere. This is one of those things where I never know what I'm looking for. Successive attacks restore HP. Interesting. I would kind of like to play with that. That makes me think of Bloodborne, actually. Here, let's switch out that guy just for the giggles. And then we are done with this place so we can uh, get out of here. Back outside, we will call Torrent. And at this point, I guess we're ready to go run around the corner here and go up. That was pretty good. That was a lot of fun. I am very curious, though, to experiment with this godskin swaddling cloth to see what that does in terms of restoring health and how much it's going to return with successive hits. I mean, if it's one of those things where, you know, you can get like, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 back with each hit, something like that, it's probably not. It's going to be like five. But if it's, you know, something that's slightly better than that, this could actually be a really, really good talisman to use for me because uh, I do like getting a lot of attacks in. Oh, looks like we... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we missed an item when we were over here yesterday, but I don't think we did. That was just a flower in a spot that made it look to me like, like it was... Uh, oh, yuck. That's a big dog. That's also a big dog. Thanks for that. Um, interesting. We're in a bunch of snow. And yet, I see fire slugs. I also see dogs with red eyes. I don't want anything to do with anything. Interesting. So we have found a big old castle over here. Let me, let me maybe take a sit real quick. Where was that rise at? Now I'm confused. I thought we saw that before. But I don't see the rise. Is that it back there? I think there. Yeah, there it is. It's back there. Okay. Let's pull back over here because I do see something up there. I saw one of the little, uh, oh shoot, I forget what those guys are called. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, I don't know what they're called. I take that back. The game hasn't told us that. Uh, these things. These things mean that there is an ever jail around. Yeah, look at that. There it is right there. Lord Contenders Ever Jail. Um... Sure, let's go in. And maybe we'll summon Oga again, just for the giggles. Um, oh yeah, we can't summon in here. Okay. Uh, well, if that's the case, then let's do a lightning grease. I know this probably is not the best choice for this particular weapon. Oh, it's Vite. Look at that. got some health back, although no idea how much. Ow. No, don't heal. Crap. Okay. Looks like we need... Oh, that, would, that gave some health back right there. And that was a pretty decent little chunk, too. Crap. Uh, not the one I meant. Oh, you're out. Okay, good. Buddy. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna try this again, greasing up with the lightning grease. Probably should be using Blood Flame's blade, but that's okay. thing that I find interesting is we've already... Ah, uh, buddy. Ow. We found this guy's uh, spear before. And it's interesting. It doesn't seem like it's doing whatever it did bef before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No thanks. Oh, yeah. He's going to stop and heal right quick, but we're going to get him before he does. All right. Good times. Good times. Totally forgot to grab my runes. 
Got Vikes Dragon Bolt, the Fingerprint Helm Armor Gauntlets, and gloves, it looks like. I want to take a look at those. Those look pretty cool. That guy had some nice looking armor. Let's see, let's grab the runes. I think we actually have a fair amount sitting over there. Yeah, that's enough for a level. Let's take a look at that. So we got Vikes Dragon Bolt, which I think is an incantation right here. Incantation of Vike, Knight of the Round Table. Hold, interesting. Summons red lightning to bolster the caster's body and their armament held in the right hand. Enchants armament with lightning affinity attacks and increases maximum equipment load. However, lightning damage negation will be reduced. Of all the knights, Vike the Dragon Spear was the one Lanceax loved the most. That requires more faith than we can manage, which, you know, that's fine. I was just thinking some lightning damage might not be bad. This is his helm right here. Iron helm singed and blistered by fingers worn by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold. No other tarnished was closer to the throne of the Elden Lord than Vike, but without announcement, Vike traveled far below the capital and was scorched by the flame of frenzy. Did he make his choice for his maiden or did some other force lure him with suggestion? Very interesting. There's, a, there's definitely a story in there to him. See if we can find, there's his armor. Same thing. Doesn't look like there's anything being stated. That's some pretty tanky armor though. I mean, granted, we're, we're using kind of uh, lightweight stuff right now, comparatively lightweight at least. Where's his, oh, there's his gauntlets right there. I don't particularly care for those just in terms of a look, but still they're, the whole thing is pretty cool. Interesting. He's got some other boots under all that uh, that iron stuff, that iron. All right, let's uh, heal up right quick just so we can make sure we're good. So we finished that Everjail. I'm very pleased with that. It only took two tries. I think I could have had him the first time. I just, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I'm good the first time, sometimes I'm not. It just uh, kind of depends. Kind of depends on their attacks and all that jazz and... Sometimes I just feel more confident with some attacks than others, or some styles than others. Uh, can we... Can we target that guy with that? Excellent, because that'll give us a golden rune 12. And I'm going to try and avoid those guys, because they're just uh, going to chase us down and be obnoxious anyway. Okay. Here's the... Here's the rise. Let's see if we can get over here and read this without being attacked. Falling snow marks something unseen. Falling snow marks something unseen. It makes me think, well, it's not snowing here. Does it matter? It makes me think that you gotta find something under the snow. Like there's something hidden somewhere. Hi, how you doing? That guy was worth extra runes, so that was worth it. Oh, I meant to meant to sit or something, but oh well, it's fine. Hey, buddy. Okay. I need to see how many swings that takes for the the Godskin uh, swaddling cloth. Wow, easy for me to say. That was just. Oof. That was just a mouthful right there that I could not get out. It kind of looks like there might be something over here, but I think it's just the colored rocks, because we've seen these before. But I want to take a look at this. Yeah, that's just the rocks. Oh, there is an item over here, though. That's good. And let's just see if we can get the backstab on this guy. Hi, how you doing? Have a good fall. Some thaw frost boluses. Falling snow. I don't know what to make of this one. That's two things out here I don't know what to do with because we have the weird jellyfish that was talking about her sister. And then we found the gravesite. But I have no idea what to do with them. And then now this. This might end up turning into a wiki thing unless uh, my friends figure it out for me. And then... They fill me in because, you know, I have no clue. I'm very confused by this one. Let's go around the other side, though. 
Let's just see if there's anything we're missing over here, perhaps. There kind of is something over here. I see this guy. And there's another one falling down, and another one falling. Oh no, just that one. Okay. Old Fang, thanks for that. I mean, it's going to be something like there's a... There is falling snow over here, but it's snowing over here too now, right? Like it's just generally snowing in this area. I need to look at this again. Falling snow marks something unseen, and we don't have the map right here to really give us any clues. Um, like that, maybe? I'm just, I'm seeing like a big rock here. That's not anything. Gosh, I don't even know. I feel like this could be anything that it wants us to do. Like, how are you even supposed to figure this out the first time? Like, for the first person who played this game and had no idea and no wiki and no friends to ask and all that stuff, how are you supposed to figure this out? Because I remember some of these, these rises, and we had to run around for a long... Well, you didn't get to see just how long I spent running around trying to figure them out. So I'm going to stop right now, and I'll rejoin you another time. By that I mean, like, in a second or two. Yeah, I got nothing on that front, so let's just uh, continue up this way then. Hi, how you doing? We'll just try and make our way into this area. I think might be better off on foot, just because... I don't know, I... I'm kind of funny about this game. I think I like playing on foot more than I like playing on horseback. I just feel more comfortable with being able to plan my attacks a little better. Kind of knowing what to expect, where everything's going to go, all that sort of stuff. Ow. He says when he gets smacked by that. Okay, let's go over here. And I don't know that we need to clean all these guys out. Oh, I totally meant to uh, use the runes we have. My bad. We just need to make sure not to die and lose them, because that that would suck. Guess we'll go this way. There's a big old black flame, or no, um, I guess not black flame, but one of the monks here. I didn't see if that got us any uh, any health back. Ooh, buddy. I got rid of that guy, though. Ooh. Big, um, hot on his head guy over there. That's going to be a bad thing. You know, let's go ahead and do this again. And then these guys, we should be able to take these guys out with out too much work. Oh my gosh, buddy. Okay, let's roll out of the way. Holy crap. Okay, madam... Oops. Wrong button. Okay, I want to heal again. Ow. It's fine. Ow, my gosh. Okay, no, it's not fine. These guys, man. Here, can I... Oh, man. This is the wrong weapon for this dude. I see that now. Okay. Let's be smart about this. Let's get behind something. <laughs> Ow. I forget, did we try this on him? I think I feel like we tried this on him and it didn't work. Oh my gosh. Oh you're oh, that's a not what I was expecting. I mean it's what I was expecting, but not what I was expecting. Clearly there's Oh my gosh. No need to kill this guy. And yet I'm going to try anyway. And I'm going to get wrecked. I mean, it's kind of funny. We destroyed one of these guys earlier. Must have used Bloodhound's Fang or something. Because this weapon is not doing great. It's doing better. There it goes. Oh my gosh. That was doing better than the Nagakiba was, for sure. But that was still terrible. Got his, uh, got his Greaves, though. That's kind of cool. 
So I'm going to have to go take a siesta here before we go into this place, I think. I just want to kind of run around. I hear... I hear what I think is... Maybe not. I thought I was hearing a scarab. Yeah, I am hearing one. But I don't see it. Where are you? Where are you, scarab? Having trouble echolocating. Probably because I'm not a bat. Maybe over here? Okay, let's get on torrent for the moment. Because if it's any sort of, like, uh, upgrade one, then I want to make sure we find this thing. And if it's just health flask, if it can give us a solid three, that might be enough for right now. Okay, it's definitely back the other way. And we'll just kind of keep going around the corner here and see what we got. Okay, I don't see anything over there. Well, we should probably check right here, just to make sure. This is an alternative way in. Maybe? Yeah. I mean, maybe this is the way in. You're not able to go in through the front. I suppose that's a possibility. The Guardians... Ow, Garrison. Yeah. You caught me snoozing, dude. Dude. Oh, you changed to Flame Guardian. You didn't even have a name on you, and then all of a sudden you did. Interesting. Okay, so we can get in through the front door, because that's what we literally just did, basically. Where is that guy? Oh, okay. Uh, you're gonna... Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get roasted alive right there. Okay. That did not go according to plan at all. Where is this stupid thing? I hear it. That's my only concern right now, is finding... Finding this thing. Is it up high somewhere? Madam. Ugh. Oh. Okay, anytime you want to let me move, and... Not take damage. I mean, the runes are just right up here, but that's probably going to mean that the big jarhead guy is alive again. Excellent. Where are my runes? Oh, they're right here. That is not the spot I would have picked for them. Oh, hi. Okay. Let's try that again, and this time we're going to pick them up. I'm still just looking for that, that scarab. I mean, I know I was hearing one. I feel, I don't know, 73.9% confident. I can't hear right now though because of all the other stuff going on. Okay, let me go ahead and reset this guy because he's just obnoxious. And I mean, you know, whatever. Whatever to that guy. Besides, we need to use our runes anyway. I keep meaning to do that. I'm going to forget if we don't use them, so. Boom. Done with Dex for a little while, probably. 60 seems like a good number. I have no idea if it is. Okay, I'm just listening right now. Not hearing anything. Here, we're just going to go inside. And... Yeah, I had a feeling this guy might be following. Oh man, you got some massive hyper armor there. That seems remarkably unfair to me. Not a big fan of that. Guess that guy that we fought in here is gone. That's good news, sort of. Okay. I don't know why that one's named like that. That's very interesting to me. That seems unusual. I mean, there's got to be some sort of significance, right? Seems like there would be. Got a ladder right here, so... 
We can go up that way, or we can go up over here. We'll go up over here. This is fine. Oh, hi. I, I was looking at something else for a moment. Totally missed that there was a rat right there. Okay. I'm not really feeling the swaddling cloth so far, I just gotta say. Maybe it works better if you have... Um, maybe if we were using the peeler, because it has so many more attacks. In fact, you know what? That's maybe a good idea to try. Here, we'll try the peeler. And we'll just see if this gets any more instances of getting health back. Got some butterflies. Is this it? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so this is the way to go, because it's not going to go to the same place when you go up the stairs. I didn't notice that. Okay. Okay. I mean, this might be a better weapon to use with the Lord of Blood's Exultation anyway. We're not really getting the most out of that one, I don't think. Here and there. I mean, obviously, yes, but... Um, I mean, we definitely got some health back there. But I don't know if it was any better. I mean, the... Yeah, that... That seems to work pretty well with this weapon, actually. <laughs> Good with that. Ooh, another somber seven. I think that was all we were missing to get us to the point of being able to upgrade another weapon. So how do we get up there? Eh. I don't see a path. Okay, and let's backtrack a little bit. Maybe there was a ladder we missed somewhere. Ah, uh, there's a spot you can fall right here. I bet that's what it is. is it here, let's take a look right quick. There's, there's nothing over there, so I bet you it's right here. And you've got to just kind of go for it, and I shouldn't have gone for it like that. That was a bad idea. What are these guys, anyway? Are they... Hmm. They're definitely wearing some briars. I can't tell what they are, though. I kind of wonder, too, if maybe... Um, well, I guess since we have Blood Blade on this weapon, it's probably fine to stick with it. But I wonder if... I still wonder about using a different uh, Ash of War on all these weapons. The Peeler, that is. Yeah, we made short work of those guys. That was great. All full up, got our blood bonus. Hey. Chief Guardian Arganthi. Oh. Oh my gosh. That was not what I was trying to do may or may not have had an incident that involved me dying to something I definitely shouldn't have died to, but... Ow. Holy crap, dude. One more. I'm just not used to using this weapon lately, and uh, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. The range is not what I'm expecting. Oh my gosh! Like, I'm trying to heal here. So apparently, that guy is a one-time only kill, and because I somehow managed to die to him, um, maybe up here is where that, that scarab is. Still been thinking, like, high is where it is, but uh, whatever, we'll have to go out there in just a minute. But apparently that one dude is a uh, one-time only because he dropped his shield, so let's see if I remember to leave that in the editing. Maybe. Maybe not. Climb a ladder, anyway. Whew, man. Things were going so well when switching to the peeler today, and then uh, they've just kind of gone sideways. Like, massively sideways. Um, there was something over here. I thought it gave me an interaction option, but I guess not. Okay, well, let's check this uh, chest. The Giant's Prayer Book. Let's see what that has in it. Giant's Prayer Book. Uh, nope, wrong one. Um, this guy. It's going to be down here, right? Giant's 
flame take thee and flame fall upon them. Those sound like they would be great for my other character where fire and flame and frenzy and all those things are things that I enjoy using. And that's going to mean we don't have anywhere near the faith required to use them on this one. That's okay. That's all right. That's part of the fun of doing different things. So uh, can we... Hmm. Can we fall down from here? I mean, that's kind of far, is it not? Yeah. I guess it's not. Here, let me do it this way where I can hit something there. Like, kind of hit a ledge. Okay. Not that way this way. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to listen. Is it like over the edge somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's following, I know. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm hearing it. Or at least I, I'm pretty sure I'm hearing. Bye. It's my cat running into the room. I'm pretty sure I'm hearing a scarab. I wonder if there's like an invisible one around here somewhere. There it is. Holy cow, dude. I could not see that guy. I told you I thought it might be up somewhere. All right. Um, I need to get up close. And hit it with another weapon. There we go. Relic's charge. Oh, I think that's what um, that one dude does with his hammer. Oh my gosh, man. All right. So I still don't really know what to do with the rise, but I think we've covered a pretty good area over here. I'm trying to think, like, what would snow cover? Like, I've been thinking, like, there might be, um, like, a door somewhere or some sort of, like, maybe a path that's hidden. I mean, I don't know how a path would work. Like literally what I've been thinking is like, um, I don't know, like, you know, uh, cobblestones or something being covered that you can't see because there's just snow on them. But I don't know that that at all makes sense. And uh, from what I've seen, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not seeing anything around here that leads me to believe that's the case. There's a scarab over there. We can ignore that guy. Okay, let's take this item right here. Explosive great bolt. Okay. I mean, we're not really using the ballistas, great ballistas or something. I don't know. Whatever. But that's cool. I don't know. I just, um, I'm not really sure what to expect over here. And uh, this one might be one where I just need to I need to go ask a good old wiki on this one because I have, I spent more time than I want to admit running around. Um, I mean, honestly, I was just trying to figure it out and this clue is really vague to me. Some of the other clues, uh, once I stopped and thought about it, I was like, okay, that, I guess that makes sense. So I assume that this one will be similar that, you know, once I kind of figure it out, it'll be kind of like, oh, okay, got it. That, that makes sense really want to figure out what the deal is with the swaddling cloth too. Like, how many attacks do you need to get in place before it'll heal you? Because it seemed like we just did sort of like five in a short amount of time there and that did the trick. So, I don't know, maybe it's like four or something. Mm, I don't know, that was... It did it again and it seems like you get a, a fair amount of time in between. Okay, well... I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to play around with this one on my own. I might spend a little time up here just really running around and we'll see if I end up farming these guys. I mean, I kind of need to get rid of them so I can look around and not feel like I'm, you know, going to get pushed over the edge because I think that's what they're going to do, right? It's basically what they're going to do. Pretty sure. I thought I heard another one. I was like, oh man, not another one. You, buddy, you dropped all your globes, so, um, meh. I'll do this one on my own time, see if I can figure it out, and if not, I will go to the wiki on this one, I think, if uh, 
If I can't, because, um, I don't know. This one's annoying to me. I just, I just don't know what to make of this. Falling snow marks something unseen. Like, yeah, again, I, I think there's like a path or something that you can't see. Like, I'm just, I'm looking around, I'm trying to figure out, like, what are we dealing with here? I know there's going to be a guy falling from the ceiling, that's fine. I mean, I thought it would be fine. Hi. Here, can I... I really need to figure out how much health I get back, too. That would be very helpful. See, like, I think there might be, like, a hidden path under the snow here or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to look around. There's... There's a patio or something over there. Like, we can see that. There's the makings... Oh, there's a... Oh, no, that's something that fell apart down there. There's a bridge that's down there. I don't know. I, I got nothing. I'll I'll play with it on my own. I'll, I'll let you know if I figure it out. And if not, well, we'll rejoin on the next one. Catch you out until then. Thanks for watching. See you later.